they're not, what is the difference? What is the difference between a black revolution and a Negro revolution? First, what is a revolution? Sometimes I'm inclined to believe that many of our people are using this word revolution loosely without taking careful consideration what this word actually means and what its historic characteristics are. When you study the historic nature of revolutions, the motive of a revolution, the objective of a revolution, and the result of a revolution, and the methods used in a revolution, you may change words. You may devise another program. You may change your goal and you may change your mind. Look at the American Revolution in 1776. That revolution was for what? For land. How was it, why did they want land? Independence. How was it carried out? Bloodshed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Number one, it was based on land. The basis of independence. And the only way they could get it was bloodshed. The French Revolution. What was it based on? The land less against the landlord. What was it for? Land. How did they get it? Bloodshed. Was no love lost. Was no compromise. Was no negotiation. I'm telling you, you don't know what our revolution is. Because when you find out what it is, you'll get back in the alley. You'll get out of the way. The moment. The Russian Revolution. What was it based on? Land. The landless. Against the landlord. How did they bring it about? Bloodshed. You haven't got a revolution that doesn't involve bloodshed. And you're afraid to bleed. I said you're afraid to bleed. Long as the white man sent you to Korea, you bled. He sent you to Germany, you bled. He sent you to the South Pacific to fight the Japanese, you bled. You bleed for white people. But when it comes time to seeing your own churches being bombed and little black girls murdered, you haven't got no blood. You bleed when the white man says bleed. You bite when the white man says bite. And you bark when the white man says bark. I hate to say this about us, but it's true. How are you going to be nonviolent in Mississippi as violent as you were in Korea? How can you justify being nonviolent in Mississippi and Alabama when your churches are being bombed and your little girls are being murdered and at the same time you're going to get violent with Hitler and Tojo and somebody else that you don't even know. <laughs> if violence is wrong in America, violence is wrong abroad. If it's wrong to be violent, defending black women and black children and black babies and black men, then it's wrong for America to draft us and make us violent abroad in defense of her. The Chinese Revolution. They wanted land. They threw the British out, along with the Uncle Tom Chinese. Yeah, they did. They set a good example. When I was in prison, I read an article in, don't, be shocked when I say I was in prison. You're still in prison. <laughs> That's what America means, prison. When I was in prison, I read an article in Life magazine showing a little Chinese girl, nine years old. Her father was on his hands and knees, and she was pulling the trigger because he was an Uncle Tom Chinaman. Yeah. When they had the revolution over there, they took a whole generation of Uncle Toms, right. just wiped them out. Yeah. 
And within 10 years, that little girl became a full-grown woman. No more Toms in China. And today, today is one of the toughest, roughest, most feared countries on this earth by the white man. Because there are no Uncle Toms over there. Of all our studies, history is best qualified to reward all research. And when you see that you got problems in the other cheek, revolution. There's no such thing as a nonviolent revolution. Only thing, only kind of revolution that's nonviolent is the Negro revolution. The only revolution based on loving your enemy is the Negro Revolution. The only revolution in which the goal is a desegregated lunch counter, a desegregated theater, a desegregated park, and a desegregated public toilet. You can sit down next to white folks on the toilet. That's no revolution. Revolution is based on land. Land is the basis of all independence. Land is the basis of freedom, justice, and equality. The white man knows what a revolution is. He knows that the black revolution is worldwide, in scope, and in nature. The black revolution is sweeping Asia, sweeping Africa. It's rearing its head in Latin America. The Cuban Revolution, that's a revolution. They overturned the system. Revolution is in Asia. Revolution is in Africa. And the white man is screaming because he sees revolution in Latin America. How do you think he'll react to you when you learn what a real revolution is? You don't know what a revolution is. If you did, you wouldn't use that word. A revolution is bloody. Revolution is hostile. Revolution knows no compromise. Revolution overturns and destroys everything that gets in its way. And you sitting around here like a knot on these folks, no matter how much they hate me. No, you need a revolution. Who ever heard of a revolution where they lock arms, as Reverend Cleague was pointing out beautifully, singing, we shall overcome? <laughs> Just tell me, you don't do that in a revolution. You don't do any singing, you're too busy swinging. <laughs> it's based on land. A revolutionary wants land so he can set up his own nation, an independent nation. These Negroes aren't asking for no nation. They're trying to crawl back on the plantation. When you want a nation, that's called nationalism. When the, black, when the white man became involved in a revolution in this country against England. What was it for? He wanted this land so he could set up another white nation. That's white nationalism. The American Revolution was white nationalism. The French Revolution was white nationalism. The um, Russian Revolution too, yes, it was white nationalism. You don't think so? Why you think Khrushchev and Mao can't get their heads together? White nationalism. All the revolutions that's going on in, in Asia, in Africa today, are based on what? Black nationalism. A revolutionary is a black nationalist. He wants a nation. I was reading some beautiful uh, words by Reverend Clee, pointing out why he couldn't get together with someone else here in the city. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,